Welcome to another episode of The Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, I am going to give feedback on my Corsair HS60 gaming headset. I've been using it every day for two weeks. I've been using it for gaming, voiceovers for my YouTube channel, as well as for the occasional conference call using VoIP for work. My overall impression, it's very comfortable. The longest gaming session I had wearing the headset is about four hours at one time. As you can see, since I'm Asian, I wear glasses, like 99% of the other Asians out there. I didn't feel any pressure of the cushions pinching my glasses against my ear and my head. I've experienced other gaming headsets where it did pinch after half an hour and got very uncomfortable to use. So the big feature advertises is the 7.1 surround sound. I was curious to see how well it worked, whether it was a gimmick. So we're gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna talk about the voice first. On my conference call, I did ask the participants in the meeting if they found my voice clear. They all responded it wasn't an issue, even when it was a VoIP line where voice quality isn't good to start off with. I put my lav microphone in one of my headphones to give you a sample of real life voice chat and in-game play with Destiny. You hear my buddy comment that he could hear me clearly. Here's my voice when I'm using just a gaming headset. Yeah. So, yeah, it's probably uh, not a driver, but like a universal driver. Mm -hmm. sound feature of the Corsair HS60 was the fact that it had 7.1 surround sound feature. For Windows 10, the surround sound is actually called Spatial Sound or Windows Sonic for headphones. By default, after installing the IQ software, it automatically turned on the spatial sound setting for me. According to the article from How To Geek, it's, I'm going to explain to you what spatial sound is and how the software works. I came across this howtogeek.com article on what sonic spatial sound is for Windows 10. I'll leave the link in the article in the video description below. First part of the article explains how to turn on spatial sound. In my original unboxing and review of the Corsair HS60 gaming headset, I have a tutorial in there on how to turn this feature on and off. I'll leave it in the card up above the video. So what is spatial sound? Windows Sonic is a platform level solution for spatial sound supported on Xbox and Windows. Application developers can use the spatial sound API to create audio objects that emit audio from positions in 3D space. So they provide examples of the sounds coming from above you and to the right. In game or in a movie, we should be able to hear that sound coming from the top right. Okay, so now, how does the spatial sound work in the Corsair HS60 Pro gaming headset? So by default, after you install the IQ software, it defaults it to Windows Sonic for headphones. And in this article, it says that when you enable this feature in Windows PC, if you're playing a game and the sound is coming from above you, your character, and to the left, the sound will be mixed before it's sent to your headphones so you can hear the sound as coming from above you and to the right. I put my Google Food to use and I wanted to see if Steam or Destiny 2 itself supported the Windows Sonic spatial sounds. After going down some internet rabbit holes, I came across the following Reddit post. Windows Sonic spatial sound is driven by the PC regardless of the source. You can't trust all Reddit posts, so I decided to try this for myself. In my experience, when the spatial sound was turned on, I felt I was able to pinpoint the enemies quicker, 
versus when it was turned off. However, I'm not sure if it was by my head or if it was relying on some visual cues. I decided to do a blind test by using my son to test if the spatial sound makes a difference while blindfolded. Could he tell where the enemies were when blindfolded? The first test, the spatial sound is turned on, and the second test, the spatial sound is turned off. This is test one with the spatial sound turned on. We're gonna put the surround sound to the test. I'm gonna get my son to blindfold himself. So he has a night mask, which I'm not sure where he got from. He's gonna put it on. He has a night mask on. I'm gonna get him to put on the headphones now. Okay, so you need to sit up. Right there, perfect. So he has the headphones on, he's blind. He has the, night fo the blindfold on, and now I'm gonna get him to tell me where the sound's coming from. So I'm gonna move around in Destiny to different areas. Yep. Behind. There's someone talking. Behind. So, so I'm gonna move around, and he's gonna tell me if he can pinpoint where the sound is. Mm, that's like behind there. Uh, there. In front of us? Behind us. Something in front of us. Yep, that was the story. Behind us. Behind us, side to side. Oh, something just passed us. Something in front of us. Okay, there's something happening. Something in front of us. You're getting, you're healing. Something in front of us. Something in front of us. Something in front of us. So. Okay, so it looks like, based on his, this quick test, I would say he's accurate about 80% of the time. And I'm gonna look through the footage again to see if that's true. Uh, sounds like the spatial sound is he can actually pick up in the queue and where they actually are. This is test two with the spatial sound turned off. So we're going to try this again. I turn off the spatial sound. He has a blindfold on. He's going to put the headset back on. And we're going to walk around and we'll see if he can tell where the noise is coming from. That side? Okay, say left or right. Okay. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left, left, right, right, left, right and left, right and left, right, left, right, left, or er, left. In front of us, in front of us, behind us, right, left, left, right, behind, uh, in front, behind. So, uh, right, left, right, left, right. Oh, that was in front of us. Uh, right, behind, uh, right, oh, left. Oh, he died. Nope, right, left, uh, left, right. Behind. E no, left. Left again. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left and right. Oh, that was. Oh, okay. Uh, behind. Oh. 
don't know about that one. Um, left. Left. Behind us. Behind us. And now it's right. Uh, right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Behind. Okay, so I think that's a good sample size. As you can tell from the footage, he was telling me which way to go, but there was actually no one shooting at him. So it sounded like, from what I can tell, is that the spatial sound was off and he was kind of... Were you guessing or you can hear it? Which one? Uh, kind of. Like, I could hear it, but sometimes I couldn't. Okay, so would you so would you say the spatial sound, like the one you did before, was more clear? Yeah. Of where the direction was? Yeah. This one was a little bit harder? Yeah. So what did this one sound like? This one, like, you can only hear it in the speakers, kind of. I can only tell right and left. The other one, I could tell behind, a bit in front, and right and left. Okay. Sounds good. So that's kind of concludes my testing of the Corsair, and then we'll get back to it. Okay. In this very unscientific result, I have to say that my son was more accurate in telling me where the enemies are with the sonic spatial sound turned on. He wasn't 100% accurate by any means, but looking through the footage and gameplay I can s and tallying it up as I was going through it, I say he was around the 85% mark for accuracy. When it was turned off, based on my tallies of total gameplay footage, he was about 30% accurate. So after all the tests have done, my feedback is the spatial sound a gimmick. Will this make me a better player for Fortnite or PUBG? And that answer would be a hard no for me. I am not a gamer. And despite the advantage I might have using spatial sound, it's not going to make a difference for me. Maybe for more experienced gamers, this is the advantage they need to be the last man standing. So that's my overall impression of the Corsair HS60 Pro 7.1 surround sound headphones. I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below if you have the exact same headphones and did you notice the difference? Did it make you a better player having the headphones? Thanks for watching and until next time.